if this lipstick could stay off my teeth for more than two seconds, that would be fantastic. All right, so today it is foundation Friday, so I try out a new foundation every single Friday on my channel. I am feeling very festive, very excited. We got the holiday background going on. I kind of want to just keep this year round. I'm feeling it. So I was very excited when I saw that Maybelline was relaunching the Superstay foundation because I actually have the old one here. This has been one of my favorite foundations for years. If you go back to, I think like one of my first few videos. <laughs> Back in the day, this used to be one of my favorites. I used to wear this every single day when I self tanned or I would mix this in with products, but this foundation was friggin' beautiful. I was so bummed when they discontinued this, but they reformulated it and they're back. So this is the Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation. It says up to 24 hours. Throughout this video, I'm kind of comparing both of these just because I've used this for so many years. I, I know how this one is. And this is a reformulation. So I ordered this online Ulta. I feel like I have to sneeze. Oh yeah, it's coming. So I ordered this online Ulta so I couldn't actually see the shades, but I got the lightest shade 102 Fair Porcelain. So there's not a whole lot of claims on Ulta's website, but it just says it provides an ultra transforming effect, long lasting foundation, lightweight yet high impact coverage, glides onto skin, lasts all day, blah, blah, blah. It says on the bottle it's full coverage and it retails for $11.99 on Ulta's website. You get one fluid ounce product, which is standard. This comes in 16 shades and 102 Fair Porcelain, which is the lightest shade, I just said that, is quite a bit lighter than the lightest shade of this foundation. Like I'm talking four or five shades lighter, which is awesome. I hope that the deepest shade on here is actually deep. I'm gonna insert swatches here of the lightest shade 102 Fair Porcelain, but I can tell you this is a fair drugstore foundation, which is awesome. It's too light for me. You guys will see in the demo, I had to like warm up my face a shit ton with bronzer. All right, so swatch time right here is the new version of the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the lightest shade 102 Fair Porcelain. Here's the old version of the Maybelline Superstay in sand beige. Pretty sure there was one technically lighter shade in the old formula, but it was very similar to this. It was just more kind of orangey. So quite a big shade difference there, so that's awesome. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 110. Dermacol 208 CoverGirl Vitalist in lighter shade 705, which is way dark. And then the CYO Life Proof Foundation in 101. So that's all the claims. If you're excited for Foundation Friday, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Now I feel like I have to hiccup and sneeze. This is, this is a new feeling. If you want to see what I think of the new Maybelline foundation, how it applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. Ooh, look at all the lights. All right, so I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. I'm gonna have everything I use linked down below so we don't have to go into that. I am so freaking excited to try this one today because like I probably told you in the intro, I used to be obsessed with this foundation. Such a pretty like skin-like, satin, a little bit dewy kind of finish. I feel like this foundation was totally underrated, so I'm really curious how the formula is gonna compare to the new one. And you guys have already seen swatches, but just looking from the bottle, I haven't done the swatches yet. Looking in the bottle, this one is obviously quite a bit lighter. I'm gonna give this a shake. This thing does have a pump, which is also exciting. Yay for pumps. I'm gonna do half my face with my LA Girl Spent sponge and then the other half with the Sigma F83 curved kabuki. This thing is actually really nice. It just like hugs your face. What do I want to start out with? Start out with a brush on the side of my face. I have a zit right on the center of my forehead. This is definitely the lightest Maybelline foundation thus far. I can tell you that much. Looks like I think I actually could have gone a shade up. Great coverage. Ooh, it's looking pretty dry on my skin right now. This definitely off the bat looks much more matte than the old formula. Ooh, it is emphasizing all of my dryness over here. Not even emphasizing. I don't even have dryness on my cheek right now. It just is making my skin look super, super dry over here. My skin right now is very well moisturized. I am on Accutane, so my skin is dry. I'm not combo anymore, but I am using so many products and prepping my skin that I really haven't experienced like the major dryness, so that's good. Yeah, it looks very, very dry all over in here. Let's keep going. Yeah, I definitely could have gone up a shade. Wow, this is a great problem to have. Good job, Maybelline. All right, I'm hoping this one looks better with a sponge on the other side. 
With the brush, I would say low full coverage. I can still see stuff coming through, but full coverage. This right now is looking very matte on my skin. I'm just smoothing out this side with the sponge too. So this side definitely looks better, like less dry with the sponge. I'm not getting quite as much weird dryness going on. And the forehead definitely looks better. Got a little bit better coverage with the brush. I mean, you can still see stuff coming through over here. The side is not looking too hot. So right now I am getting a clip on the other camera. So I'm gonna get really up close so you can hopefully see, whoop, other way, the dryness I'm talking about. Okay, I think. This thing gets out of focus really easily, so hopefully this is in focus, because I can't really tell. Very dry looking all around here. It doesn't look great around my nose either. Here's the sponge side. As you can see, there's still definitely stuff coming through all over here. I'd say it looks slightly better than the other side, but it still doesn't look like good. Making my forehead look super dry on this side. Like, that does not look good at all. Sponge side. Definitely looks better, but still doesn't look great. So what I'm gonna do now is take a little bit more on the sponge, see if we can just build this up a little bit, see if I can smooth out the brush side at all. I'm just focusing this where my acne is and everything. I'm not going like right around my nose. Ooh, this looks bad. This looks really bad. So I would say off the bat, if you have dry skin or even the slightest amount of dryness, not for you. Oh, I am looking white right now. Okay, so right now it's 9.30 a.m. So that's when we're gonna call the check-in time. Like I said in last week's video, haven't been powdering my face. Feels actually like a powder finish. Yeah, this is totally different than this foundation. Feels like it's set down. Yeah, my forehead feels like totally dry. Right now I'm definitely preferring this formula. I'm filming this on Tuesday. This video is going up on Friday, obviously, Foundation Friday. So I'm gonna try this one again, just so I can see with my skin right now how this one sits on it. And I'll update you guys in the description box how that goes. I wish they just made the same exact formula in more shades. I don't even know why they discontinued it in the first place, but whatever. Just a little bitter right now. So I'm gonna try and warm up my face so I don't look completely ghostly today. I do have some errands to run and things. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ham with the bronzer today, I think. The checking time is 9.30. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So it's now 10.06, the rest of my makeup is on. I think it's looking a little better, it's still way too light. I don't know what is happening on my nose right now. The foundation has just like rubbed off in a couple spots, oddly. So I'm gonna try and just smooth that out. My pores are like extremely emphasized on my nose. What is going on? It was fine blending product on top, it just kind of felt like I was blending on top of a powder. As far as how everything's looking on my face, really don't like how it looks right now. This side looks okay. This side and my forehead is kind of just a total disaster. It looks fine from far away. I mean, it just looks like I have foundation sitting on top of my face, major, major dryness, weird things going on around my pores. Don't know what's happening on my nose. I mean, I've never really had that happen. So that's that. I think you know how I feel about the foundation right now. Now I need to like hoard this foundation and only use a drop of it each time because I'm almost out. I'm like down to here. So the makeup on the rest of my face for bronzer I use, the Hourglass Diffused Bronze Light. This is one of my favorite bronzers when I want to just overall warm up my face. So I just kind of put that everywhere like around my temples, on my cheeks, down here a little bit. Just tried to warm up my face a little bit. And I also use the Hourglass Incandescent Electra Blush, which looks like this. It looks kind of scary, like flamingo pink in the pan, but it's really pretty on your face just for like a pink blush. And then for highlight, I used one of my all-time favorites, Physicians Formula Shimmer Brick in Natural Nude. That's what my face highlight is. I also use this on the inner corner of my eyes. For eyeshadow, I use the Morphe 39A. This palette is so ginormous. I did a shadow and schmooze using this. It was like the army green look. I just went in with some of these shades right here in the middle. I used that one, which was gorgeous, and I also used that shade right there. The shimmer shades in here are so, they almost feel like a wet metallic. I didn't wet my brush at all. This palette is actually really nice. There hasn't been a shade that I haven't liked in here so far. And then for lips, this was just like not a good Maybelline day. <laughs> I tried to use Maybelline Matte Ink again. This is in the shade 15 Lover, 
and it's just transferring everywhere. It was like bleeding out a little bit over here. I think you can see it. So then I ended up putting Maybelline Tora over top, which is one of my favorite shades right now. Super, super pretty. I just put that like on the center. I think that's it. My usual mascaras, which will be linked down below. I was gonna film November Rays and Rejects today. I don't think that's gonna happen unless I like redid my entire makeup right now so that's that the next check i'm gonna do will be a natural lighting i'll see you guys in a few hours all right so it's 3 20 so it's been on for almost six hours right now i want to wash off my face so bad took off my lipstick because i've just been coating my lips in aquaphor but this is a no this is a no it's actually looking better on camera i think because it's like a little bit bright right now there we go um if i had one word i would just say crusty like my face looks hella crusty right now. I feel like that might be some like slang term, but I can't remember what it means. But I mean like literal crusty. It looks weird, not even dry. Like what is that? It just looks bizarre and like on my nose and then over here it looks dry. I mean, sponge side definitely looks better. It's also rubbed off a shit ton right here. I think that's where I was like resting my arm. I mean, my acne is like full on out right here. My forehead doesn't look quite as bad, I feel like, as it did earlier. It's like blinding right now. So it's seven o'clock, so it's been on for almost, almost 10 hours, nine and a half hours. And wow, I look, I look fabulous right now. I'm ready to go out on the town. I think I'm just gonna wipe off all of my makeup to go to this thing because I would rather wear <laughs> no makeup at this point. Everything looks the same as the last check-in, except around my nose area now looks worse and I'm also getting creasing on my upper lip. Okay, so creasing here, creasing around the nose. This just looks weird, funky, funky, more weird and funky. Yeah. As far as the formula of this, it reminds me nothing of the other formula. So if you liked that other formula a lot, I don't know, you might love this one or you might hate this one, but they are totally different. I'm surprised they actually called it the same thing because to me these are nothing alike so i wouldn't wear this one again i don't even think i would mix this it really doesn't sit well on my skin at all i am not a fan and i'm bummed because the other one was so friggin good but just like i say with every foundation not everything works the same for everyone so you might love this you might have great experience with it i'll update you down below but if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up <sighs> i got a breath right now just say chipotle love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye